Hi everyone, welcome back to Gado. Today we will show you how to replace the LCD screen display with the frame on Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite T220, T225 models. To start, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, turn off the tablet and take out the SIM tray and then follows with the back cover removal. To remove the back cover, create a gap near the charger port or SIM slot using a picker and carpride tool. And then by using a picker or plastic carpride tool, gently move around the tablet to release the plastic clips on the frame. If the selected edge is not relaxing, use a pry tool to create a wider gap. And then use the picker to release the gas cuts on the frame. Take out the back cover and then take out the bracket by undoing 6 screws. Next, disconnect the battery plug. Next, peel both adhesive tabs from the bottom of the battery and then gently extract both strips from the battery. This process may take some time and then pull out the battery from the body. Next, take out the logic board by undoing 5 screws, disconnecting the antenna head, relaxing both front and rear cameras and disconnecting both main ribbon cables from the board. Next, add some heat to release the adhesive on the power and volume flex cable. Next, gently take out the flex from the body. Next, move to the bottom and take out the cover by undoing 11 screws.
Next, disconnect the cable and peel the antenna from the frame. Next, pull out the charging and headphone board with the antenna from the body. Now, the only remaining part is a broken front screen assembly with the frame. For the replacement, there are two different screen types in the market. The one is with the frame and the other one is without the frame. It can be original, used, aftermarket or refurbished. Either version you choose, you can get with the frame and without. But the most straightforward repair will be with the frame. And also, the price difference is not that big. I recommend you go with the screen with the frame installed. It can be original, refurbished, used or aftermarket and this type is commonly available to purchase. Next, on the new screen frame, start placing remote parts. First, place the charging and headphone board on the body. Next, secure the antenna on the frame. Next, connect the plug to the charging board and then place the cover by adding 11 screws. Next, place and secure the power and volume flex on the frame. Next, place the logic board in the body and secure the camera positions. Next, connect both main ribbon connectors to the board and then secure the antenna head. Next, secure the logic board by adding 5 screws. Next, place the battery with adhesive. Next, connect the battery plug and then place the bracket by adding 6 screws.
Next, before closing the device, it is good to verify the functionality by powering up the device. Next, slide in the back cover from the bottom to the top. Secure the back cover and then ensure the clips are tightened. And then insert the SIM tray. Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.